bonjour welcome or welcome back to my channel i am doing a little france series yesterday i left paris and took a two and a half hour train to the capital of normandy i am in rouen and i'm basically already in love yesterday i arrived at about 12 and i spent half a day just wandering around and taking photos it was a beautiful day yesterday sunny and warm Today it is drizzly and chilly. It's also Easter Monday, which is when the French celebrate Easter. So pretty much everything is closed and there's not a ton of people out, partially I'm sure because of the weather as well. But I'm gonna wander around at least for a little bit. I'm here three full days and plan on doing pretty much everything that the city has to offer. One of the top attractions in the city is the Cathedral Notre Dame de Rouen, which is this gorgeous cathedral. It is gigantic. It's hard to get a photo even with a 16 millimeter lens because it's just so wide and just so detailed. They are doing some repair on the side. So there is some scaffolding, but the front is just incredible. I will do a little voiceover with some more information and I'll also insert some clips from yesterday day of the inside and of what it looks like in the sun. The Gothic Cathedral as it stands today was completed in the 1880s, but it has a rich history dating back to 1030. It is known for its three towers of different heights and styles. The tallest spire stands 490 feet above the city. Painter Claude Monet also created a famous series of the church depicting it in different lighting situations. Just around the corner from the cathedral is the, I'm going to say this wrong, I'm sorry, the Grosse Horloge Astronomical Clock, which is gorgeous, golden, and I'll do a little voiceover for more information, of course, and I do have clips from yesterday with the sun as well. The clock mechanism dates back to 1389 and it has been displayed on this renaissance arch since 1529. Along with the time, the clock also shows the day of the week and the phase of the moon. Underneath the arch, there are amazing carved scenes as well. I didn't know at the time, but for a fee, you can tour the tower and see the inside of the clock. One of my favorite parts of Rouen are all of the wood timbered buildings. They are so adorable. It's like a little fairy tale village. I'm just, I'm so obsessed. It is starting to rain harder, so I think I'm gonna head back to the hotel probably for the rest of the day, or I think maybe it's supposed to stop raining in the afternoon, so we'll just kind of play it by ear. But I did wanna show you the parliament building too real quick because it is also amazing. The architecture in the city is just chef's kiss. It's not all like this out of the historical area. It's more modern, but it is definitely a beautiful, beautiful town. And you can also do it as a day trip from Paris. Like I said, it's only a two and a half hour train. So you can easily do it as a day trip if you want, but I'm going to be here for a few days. Okay. It's much later in the day. Ignore my hair. I'm sure it looks not very good, but I've come back out for a little bit. I'm at St. Oren Abbey Church and the front of it is very much under construction, um, restoration with a lot of scaffolding. So here's the back. There's also a garden in the back, which I'm sure if it wasn't so rainy would look a lot better, but there's all the beautiful buildings on the side with the wood frames and all the flowers on the trees and stuff. It is really nice. So yeah. This is going to be it. I'll show you a few more shots, but otherwise I want to flash you forward to tomorrow after that. So see you tomorrow. Good afternoon because yes, I did sleep late today. I've come to the St. Joan of Arc Church because Rowan is actually where Joan of Arc was burned at the stake. I've always kind of been interested in the story of Joan of Arc just because it's so fascinating to me. Joan of Arc or Jeanne d'Arc was born in 1412. At 13, she began having religious visions of Archangel Michael, St. Margaret and St. Catherine. These visions led to her fighting in the Hundred Years' War against the English. In 1929, she succeeded in helping Charles VII be crowned as the rightful King of France. In 1430, however, Joan was captured by the English and put on trial for heresy and other crimes. Eventually, she was found guilty and was burned at the stake in the marketplace of Rouen. She was only 19 years old. Later, she was declared a saint in 1920. 
this church was built in 1979 to honor this amazing woman. Its unique architecture is very modern, making it stand out in the historic square. It is shaped like an upside down boat. Inside, there are intricate stained glass windows depicting biblical scenes. Come to another church. This one is St. Maclou, which I'm probably saying wrong. But I did go inside this church the other day, so I'll show some footage from then. Near this church is one of the most unique Rouen attractions. The courtyard seems unimposing, but the surrounding half-timbered building was used as an ossuary during the height of the Black Plague during the mid-1300s. An ossuary is a building used to store human skeletons. With so many deaths from the Black Plague and later plagues, the cemetery needed to be emptied to make room for new burials. The older bones were then brought to rest in the walls of this ossuary. Along the walls, you can see carvings of skulls, bones, and grave digger tools. Though it is very macabre, I thought the place was really cool. I've walked up to this park. There's a cool little waterfall. I think I might just call it a day, even though I haven't been out that long, but I've pretty much seen everything in Rouen that I planned on seeing. It really is not that big of a town. So three and a half days, definitely a lot of time, but it gives me kind of a break to relax and not be all go, 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 which I hate when I'm traveling. So it has been really nice. There's also a museum here next to the park, which you can go to if you feel like it. It does cost money, so I'm gonna skip it. Everything else I've done in Rouen has been free, which is really nice. I did end up walking a little more and saw the last remaining tower of the old Rouen castle. It was here that Joan of Arc was held prisoner during her trial. It is my last day here in Rouen. I thought it was going to be completely rained out, but the sun did come out a bit and the sky did clear. Although now it looks like it might be blowing back in. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. It is really windy today, so maybe the clouds will just kind of blow away. I just did this panorama hike, which looks over the entire city and the Seine River, and it was a very nice view, but like I said, it was really windy, so it was kind of hard to appreciate it. The hike only took maybe 15 15 minutes from where it starts but it is very steep lots of stairs so I was definitely feeling it by the time I got to the top but like I said it was kind of worth it because of the awesome views okay so it is starting to rain again I also didn't mention that the trail is like really muddy because obviously it's been raining a ton while well, I ended up walking like 30 minutes to this park garden area I'm gonna wander around it should hopefully be really pretty the sun did come back out again or you know keeps going in and out behind the clouds but yeah it is really windy and kind of chilly but I'm gonna make the most of my last day here end up raining again so I started walking back and then it sleeted some and then the sun came out and as you can tell it's super sunny again the weather's been crazy today but this is gonna be the end of this video thank you for joining me on my trip to Rouen tomorrow I am going to another location which I'll put on the screen because I haven't looked up the pronunciation yet and I'm gonna say it wrong but I am excited I have two other locations I'm gonna explore in France before I go home so make sure you're subscribed to see all the videos and thank you for watching to the capital of Normandy the capital of Normandy. Why it does it sound weird? The Cathedral de one of the top one of the top one of the top destination one of the top 